Hello everyone, I'm Rock Germani and today I'm going to show you all how to take your speed ramping to the next level. Let's get into it. There are a few steps to doing it, um, but it starts out with actually going out and filming the footage that you want to be speed ramped. So you can film it with a gimbal, you can film it handheld, you can film it with a drone. I do it a lot with my drone, so that's what I'm going to use for the example today. So you want to get the footage with your drone. Um, it helps to either orbit around something or go in a straight line or just have a sense of motion between two shots that's going to continue. So if you're going to take your gimbal and orbit around something, you want the next shot you want it to speed ramp into to be orbiting around something. It's important to have a sense of continuality between your shots. So if you're going to go in a straight line, go to straight line in both clips or orbit. So yeah, once you've got your clips, two clips or how many other, how many clips you want to be speed ramped, you take them into your editing software. In this case, I'm going to show you how to do it in DaVinci Resolve since that is what I use. There are other videos for Premiere Pro and other um, softwares, but so I'm just going to show you how to do it in DaVinci Resolve. So once you're in DaVinci Resolve, you drag your clips to the timeline, do it any color correction or whatever the heck you want to do before, unless you want to do it after. Then you take your clip, you can do Control R, or you right click and you go through the menu to Retime Controls. So once you have the Retime Control, it you can see that there's this kind of like bubble around the clip, sort of in a way where you can set in and out points and change certain parts of the clip. So you go to the point where you want to speed it up and you right click or you click the drop down thing and you click add speed point. Then you drag to the other part of the clip. Usually if you want to do at the end of the clip where you just speed ramp the last part, you go to the end and you just drag on the top and you drag it over and you just make it how fast you want it to be. At the top, there should be an indication of like the percentage of the speed. Um, you can either do that or you can either click the drop down and you can change it from say 100% to 800%. I think that's the basic one in there. You can get past 800% if you drag the clip. I don't know why they don't let you go past 800% at the drop down window, but you can fine tune it with the, the dragging. So once you've gotten the section that you want speed ramped, you also have to take the next clip and speed ramp the beginning of that clip. So what you do is the same exact thing except backwards. So you go into the second clip and you select the retime controls, control R, or right click down to control R and right retime controls on the drop down menu. And then you uh, select a point wherever you want the speed ramp to end, and then you drag that. You could also do the drop down menu to change the percentage of the speed, but you can also drag it. I prefer to drag it. And then you also can. You can also make this match with the music. So if you have an audio track below it, if there's a build up like the duh, it's like voo. So you want to have it like kind of match the audio. And you can play around with the, um, the, the starting and end points of both clips until you have a general idea. Now, what, if you play it back, you'll notice that it just starts and then speeds up and then stops speeding up. It like go back, goes back to regular speed. If that's what you want, there you go, you have a speed ramp. But there is a way to make it more elegant, to make it more smoothed out. So what you would do is you you have to right click, go into the menu, and there's this thing called retime curve. What you do is you cl click that, and then the retime curve comes up. It's the key, you can see the keyframes underneath. And if you see the part where your speed ramp starts and ends, you'll probably see another keyframe where it just goes up faster. Oops, <laughs> just got my jacket on my desk. <laughs> Anyhow, you can click on that keyframe right where um, in between the, the start and end points. And then you can go up to the top. There's this option for a linear and then there's bezier. Bezier is how you smooth it out. So you click on the bezier option. It's just there's no name for it. It's just an icon. Now you have this option to drag these little pinpoints on the end out and it creates a curve rather than an abrupt jolt. 
you can do a curve. So depending on what style you're trying to portray to your viewer, you can either do the abrupt film, like the abrupt speed ramping, or the curved, more elegant speed ramping for what I like to do in my videos. There are, there are times for both. If you're in a more action-paced sequence, it's good to speed ramp like the abrupt way. If you're in a more cinematic sequence or you're trying to sync to the music, it's often more elegant and more easier to like recognize it and you can actually see the buildup as well. You can cre if you expand the line of or of the curve, you can actually create a better. Um, you can change that. You can change the values. You can make it more dramatic or less dramatic. So slower speed ramp or faster speed ramp, just the easing in and the easing out. So you can do that on both clips. Now that you have that, you basically you have your ex your finished speed ramp, and you can also do multiple speed ramps inside of the clip by setting in and out points inside of the clip. So you have to set two. And then you can change the speed in between them, do the drop down menu, do whatever the heck you want, um, and then add the curves. But that's that's the simple way of how to do a speed ramp in DaVinci Resolve. If you like drone stuff, filmmaking stuff, just anything in general, feel free to subscribe, drop a like, and uh, I hope to see you all in the next video. Thank you all for watching. Peace.